I feel like, the, as you mentioned, the camera's following Musa so much in the film. And that's in part because I did want people to feel as though this was Musa's view of Ramallah. So I wanted the camera to leave him at the end of the film. And I want you to zoom out and I want you to think, okay, well, I've been with Musa this whole time and now I'm understanding potentially what he wants and how he's trying to get what he wants. But now I'm just left with, this is the state of the of the of the circumstances and it's only visible at, at home but you know I, th th there's even little things that i tried to do in that last shot where the you know the aspect ratio of the film is you know widescreen throughout the entire film but at the end of the film as the fountain's playing uh, if anyone's noticing the 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 borders stretch uh, up so that it becomes a, a full picture and and that's it's a really minor thing but i was doing that in the edit thinking like you know, I'm creating cinema in the first, you know, 89, 88 minutes of the of the film. And this is the sort of representative view that's certainly my point of view, but also a little bit Musa's point of view of Ramallah and what it looks like. But and and this this quest to make a new kind of image, which is coming from the music and it's coming from the cinematography and the humor and all these things. But then at the end, I think that it stretches out into just it's just a base. It's just a shot. It's just, this is just what this is just a moment of people outside of the fountain in Ramallah. And it's not Musa's story anymore. It's just this is just a piece of reality.